Hello. We were discussing the Sommerfeld theory for free electrons, the transport, the electrical conductivity, the thermal conductivity in metals. So the difference between Drude model and Sommerfeld model is that in Drude model the electrons were treated as classical particles. Maxwell Boltzmann statistics was used for it and Sommerfeld changed that by using Fermi Dirac statistics for describing the electrons. So now we will discuss the Sommerfeld theory of conduction in metals. So for uh, developing the theory for conduction, we need a velocity distribution for the electrons in the metals. And how do we find that? Uh, let's consider a small volume element in the reciprocal space, K space, something like this, a small volume element in the K space. So it's, uh, let's say, relative to some origin it has a position vector k and it has a differential volume d3k now if we allow for the twofold spin degeneracy that means one state is occupied by can be occupied by electrons of two different spins then the number of electronic levels in the volume element would be given as v over 4 pi cubed d3k this is the number of of electronic levels So the probability of each level being occupied this is given by the Fermi function f which is a function of the energy. So then we can write that the total number of electrons in the case space volume element in D3K this much k space volume is given as v over 4 pi cubed f that's a function of energy times d3k and what is energy here energy for free electrons is nothing but h cross squared k squared over twice m where m is the mass of the electron velocity of a free electron having wave vector k would be given as h cross k over m so the total number of electrons per unit volume of real space in a velocity space element if we consider a velocity space element d3v then it's about the point v 
the total number of electrons per unit volume that can be given as f v f is the fermi function again in velocity space d3 v this is the total number of electrons per unit volume about v about v being the velocity so we have written the fermi function for velocity distribution so what is the velocity distribution function f v this quantity can be obtained to be m over h cross cubed over 4 pi cubed then 1 over exponential of half m v squared minus the chemical potential over k b t plus 1. This is the velocity distribution function. So, Sommerfeld then using this distribution function re-examined the Druder model and then replaced the classical Maxwell-Boltzmann velocity distribution by this Fermi Dirac velocity distribution function. And after doing that, a typical electron in a metal that has momentum of the order of h cross times the Fermi wave vector. Considering this, Sommerfeld got an expression for the mean free path of the electrons. So, if the Fermi velocity Vf is considered as a measure of the typical electronic speed, then the mean free path L that can be calculated as Vf times the relaxation time tau. Earlier in Druder's case, we had the typical electronic velocity as the average velocity of all free electrons in the system. And that, instead of that, here we have found Vf, which is the Fermi velocity. And in uh, considering Sommerfeld model, we can see that there are many electrons, most of the electrons that have much lower velocity. But these are the electrons that participate in the conduction much more than anything else. So, their contribution is more in the conduction and therefore their velocity matters. These are the mobile electrons mainly that transport the charge. And hence, when we are calculating the mean free path, we must multiply this Fermi velocity and the relaxation time. That will give us the mean free path, which would obviously be larger than the Druder's estimate. So, this mean free path L can be given as R s over A naught, sorry, like this, R divided by rho mu, this quantity squared times 92 angstrom.